All right, so here we are drinking beer. And uh, before we start this video, I wanted to say a quick RIP to my favorite beer koozie. Um, it used to have this tap in it, so you could just shotgun the beer with a press of a button. But um, the koozie ripped, gave up the ghost. So I took my calipers and measured the hole, drilled a new hole into a new koozie, and put the tap into that one. And we are set for. Um, a new generation here. Goodbye, favorite koozie. I'll miss you. This is not a serious video. For Sue being a piece of frozen pizza. This is a piece of pizza from a chain restaurant. I had one slice left after dinner one night, so I vacuum sealed it and put it in the freezer. It was about two weeks ago. Um, we're gonna put it in a sous vide water bath tonight. And after it gets nice and hot, we're gonna put it in the toaster oven. And we're gonna see what happens. All right, so no particular reason. I just picked 145 degrees. And uh, this isn't gonna take very long, maybe 15, 20 minutes just to get it hot. Right now, this pizza is frozen solid. So, um, it's a delicious pepperoni and mushroom pizza. One single mushroom on the whole pizza. Not as good as a regular pepperoni mushroom pizza, but we're gonna try it anyway. I'm just gonna knock this back. Let's just set it to 143, because it doesn't matter. This thing's already cooked. We just need it to get hot. Let's just shove it in the water and let it roll for 20 minutes or so. Hot. Piece of pepperoni and one mushroom pizza is now in the sous vide. All right, we're on the last minute of the cooking here. It's been in for about 15 minutes at approximately 143 degrees. So, I mean, that'll just get it nice and reheated. And we are on the toast bake setting, which is basically the bottom broiler and the top broiler, both on um, max temperature 450. Let's see if we can get it crisp back up. Should be delicious. 27 seconds to go. All right, and here it is. Finished product. The crust is crisp. The bottom, it's hot actually. Nice and toasty. As we even have some crispy curls from, from the pepperoni. But, uh, I mean, it smells good. All right, it's been cooling for about a minute. Let's, uh, let's cut into this bad boy. Pepperoni reheated sous vide pizza. Let's put that pepperoni right on there. Put my man's melty cheese. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh man, hot. Tastes great. Mm. That was really good. Ah. This tastes good. It tastes like fresh pizza. This is a this is the proper knife to use when you're eating pizza. I got your back. Ah. The bottom crust is nice and crispy. The cheese is melty. And the inner crust is nice and chewy. It's a perfect reheated piece of pizza. This pizza is two weeks old. Got a nice crisp to it. It's almost as good as fresh. I'm telling you what, if I put this back in a brand new ordered piece of pizza, I bet you couldn't tell the difference. A piece of pizza, Vinny? You don't have any pizza. He's a cat. <laughs> okay, sous vide pizza. Does it work? Yes. Just gotta have time to do it. After watching, please subscribe.